Right hand. McCulloch's uh, experienced many things in his career, Barry, but there would be nothing quite like the experience here, surely. Not at all. But he's not worried about this. He can't understand these guys. All he knows is that when this, the bell rings, he's going to take this guy apart. And that's what he wants to do. I've been involved with him for some time, and I really want him to do it here. And I believe that he can do it. This guy, as I say, is compatible with his style, and he can win this fight. He's done it all right in his professional career so far, but this, by some ways, is the biggest test for Wayne McCulloch. Commentary from Glenn McCrory and Ian Dark. Well, Wayne McCulloch looking to carve out his niche in history here. His preparation has been right, absolutely gentlemen. meticulous. I went over the rules earlier. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Give me good sportsmanlike conduct in the ring. Good luck to both of you. Take hands. Oh! Referee Joe oh. Cortez. Two American judges and one from South Korea here. And the hometown hero, Yasui Yakoshiji, making his fifth defense of the WBC Bantamweight Championship. It's a mountainous task here for the very talented Wayne McCulloch from the Shank Hill Road in Belfast. And a fast start from Yakushiji. All his world title fights have been right here in Nagoya. Massive support for him. Sunday lunchtime in the big industrial city. And Glenn McCulloch, we've seen him. He's a great little pressure fighter. He throws hundreds and hundreds of punches. But this is a very, very tall task. It certainly is, especially having to go that far for his world title shot. But he's a pressure fighter. He's got his big opportunity. I'm sure he's going to go for it. Very good start by the world champion, using his height and reach advantages. One problem that McCulloch has had, it seems to me, although he's had some good wins, is he's a bit easy to hit, doesn't move his head enough. That's right, at times he just comes straight in, his defense is a little bit suspect, but so far he's still, he still managed to keep his win and run go going. Oh, that's a very good left hook from McCulloch. I think that this world champion knows that he's going to have to try to match McCulloch punch for punch now. The challenger from Belfast just beginning to find his rhythm in the later stages of this first round. Now this is better from McCulloch. He's starting to find the range with that jab too. Yes, already he's getting through. Yakashusi, very tall, long, long jab, long right hand. But McCulloch's getting inside it already. Every expectation that this would be a terrific contest with so much at stake. Yakushiji is as big a star in Japan as Nigel Benn or Chris Eubank in Britain. Now look at this finish to the round from McCulloch. This is great stuff from him. Yakushiji had started so fast too. Terrific opening round. If it carries on like this, we're in for something special. We certainly are on a good right hand from McCulloch. Last half minute of the opening round. And McCulloch, the man who won an Olympic silver medal in Barcelona, here looking to hit the high spots in his professional career. His work rate is absolutely fantastic, McCulloch. Last few seconds of the opening round, and McCulloch has come back in it terrifically. The time in Las Vegas these days where he's trained by the great Eddie Futch and his partner, Thel Torrance. Again, that right hand working well for McCulloch. I'll tell you what, not many of the punches here are being slipped from either men. And McCulloch here turning on the style and the pressure in round two. Yes, Jack and Susie just caught McCulloch with a big right hand right at the start. But McCulloch answered back very well indeed. McCulloch is unbeaten in 
16 contests going into this, but he's never had a task as big as this one, though he had a very, very good win over the Mexican, Mexican Victor Rabanales in Atlantic City in an eliminator over 12 rounds. Oh, McCullough getting through with some damaging looking head punches. McCulloch's sheer volume of punches has given Yakashuji problems. McCulloch has been likened to, to Henry Armstrong, the great triple world champion. Yes, I was talking to Eddie Futch about McCulloch and he said he's tremendously excited by him. And you remember Eddie Futch has had people like uh, Joe Frazier, Ken Norton, Larry Holmes, Mike Spinks and now Riddick Bowe. That's quite a compliment. Though he does acknowledge that McCulloch could improve his defense but when you're throwing as many punches as him you're always going to be very very difficult to contain although Yakushiji is throwing a fair few himself in here he has some good combinations you've seen Yakushiji mix it up there the head and body a nice left hook behind the, the right elbow of McCulloch well, this fight is every bit as good so far as the billing Oh, that was a crunching left from Yakushiji. Yakushiji has lost a couple in his 27 fights, but they were a long time ago, seven years ago, a couple of six-rounders early in his career. He's on a big winning run and with home advantage. Oh, almost McGuigan-like, those hooks to the body there from McCulloch. Tremendous pressure McCulloch's putting on, but Yagashuji coming back like the champion he is. McCulloch must know, fighting in the other man's backyard, that he's not only got to win this, but win it big. Yagashuji, great right hand from him. That was a terrific round. Yagashuji McCulloch, a couple of years younger. The work rate of both men, absolutely prodigious in this first couple of rounds. I don't think either man yet has really got into the ascendancy. We await that kind of development. Yakashuji seems to throw the stiffer punches. He seems to get a, a, the little crisper punches going, where McCulloch's volume are the ones that seem to be doing the damage. Excellent volley to the body from McCulloch. McCulloch's having plenty of success with the jab, surprisingly, against this very tall phantom weight, over 5 feet 8 inches, Yakushiji. The big problem. Yes, he is having a good success with the jab. He's also moving his head quite well. Often he's very straight up, McCulloch, but he's moving, slipping from side to side and just getting out of range of that jab. Right hand, good shot from the world champion. <laughs> McCulloch's got to be careful of that. Neither of these have the reputation of being anything like one-punch knockout artists. Far from it. But they're very crisp punches. And look at this from McCulloch. He's doing the better work for me so far in this round yes he's had some good rise but you notice it's all coming off the jab he's doubling his left jab up very well he's got his range all together <laughs> not wasting punches either at all McCulloch looks sharp as a needle trained honed to perfection for this big challenge he's on a hundred and ninety thousand pound payday that's big money at bantamweight McCulloch even as challenger here McCulloch's got on top here in the third round this is his best round so far there's less coming back from the champion yes again the work rate of McCulloch's done 
everything in this round. This has been his best round so far. Yakushishi trying to come on strong in the closing stages of the round. The old trick, last thing the judges remember. That was McCullough. Fourth round. And out comes the pocket rocket. Wayne McCulloch again and straight away feels the force of a right hand from this much improved Yakushiji, who won a very, very big fight in Japan against another hero. It's like a Ben Eubank fight, really, in Japan against Yoshiro Tatsuyoshi last December. And they had a crowd of nearly 10,000 for that with uh, purse money of three and a half million pounds. So this guy is big business in Japan, Yakushiji. Don't hold the head down, don't hold the head, Wayne, don't hold the head down. A lot of money invested in him. Mandatory defense, though, this against the excellent McCulloch. <laughs> McCulloch's work looks snappier to me at this stage. It is. He's very sharp and he's getting his range together. He's putting his punches together well. Let him out, let him out, clean, let him out. Using the jab superbly. <laughs> Yakushiji's work rate has dropped off a bit. He's, in the early stages, tried to just stand and trade a little bit with McCulloch and match him punch for punch, and he can be quite speedy and elusive. We kind of expected it to be McCulloch's pressure against the boxing skills of Yakushiji. But you can see now, Ian, more and more, McCulloch is forcing Yakushiji under the ropes. That's where he wants him, he's back up against the ropes where McCulloch can can work the head and body, use that pressure. McCulloch trying to drive those punches through the guard. little scrap this in the eight stone six pounds bantamweight division a division in which Britain hasn't had too many world champions Duke McKenzie was the last WBO version early 1990s but then you have to go back to John Corwell also from Belfast in the early 60s this really is a great little fight Another good round for McCulloch in a tremendous performance here so far. Fifth round, due to go 12, of course. Yakushiji has fought three 12 rounders in his career. McCulloch just the one so far, the victory over Rabinales. But McCulloch, he looks in superb shape. He's really fired up for this one. Let's go. Having said that, Glenn, if he's not fired up for this, he never will be. <laughs> No, this is a great opportunity. That's very fast, blurring hand speed from McCulloch. A two-punch combination. There's no doubt about it, the champion's work rate has dropped quite significantly since the opening couple of rounds. I think McCulloch's pressure is just beginning to get to him. Yes, I think he's he's struggling as of what to do. He's tried to move, but the constant pressure eventually just gets gets him going, gets him on the ropes, and he's struggling to get out of the way of, the, of these punches. He's fighting back good now, Ian. I think Yakushiji and his corner will know they've got to lift it. There's Eddie Futch there, 80-something now. Eddie, brilliant trainer, great strategist. Yakushiji, who fights out of the Matsuda gym. 
and uh, he's been doing his training not very far from McCulloch in Los Angeles McCulloch working in Las Vegas where he's based most of the time tough job though to win away from home in Japan I remember uh, Alan Rudkin coming here to fight that excellent bantamweight champion fighting Harada many years ago he couldn't do it Oh, these are good punches. He's got it going here. McCulloch, he looked disorganized and disheveled for a moment there. The world champion. Yes, this is good for McCulloch. He's got the pressure on. Landing with a, a good right hand there, Ian. This has been his best round. Does on, not on, stop on, on, McCulloch. Come on, Oh, the right hand there was a good one. I must say his chin looks pretty good too, though, because he's landed with some good right hands. Yakushiji and McCulloch has absorbed those punches. Yes, Yakushiji comes back so strongly. But this has been a very good round for McCulloch. Round, he got so much confidence from that because he did have Yakushiji in a in a little bit of trouble. Yakushiji came back with a good right hand at one stage, but McCulloch just brushed it aside and put the pressure on again. Round six here, then. If McCulloch can keep up this level of performance, his expectations will surely be high. Yakushiji needs to lift it, doesn't he, at this stage? He does. He needs something big because McCullough has got the center of the ring. He's controlling the fight from there. <laughs> Yakushiji trying now to, to get that jab going. But McCullough, he's slipping it very well. He just, little movements to the, the left and right, just enough to, to miss the jab. This is a much, much better McCulloch than the one we saw giving a not very satisfactory display against Mark Hargreaves of Burnley on the uh, Herbie Hyde Michael Bent Bill at Millwall Football Ground a uh, year or so back. That night he looked ominously easy to hit. He's been hit here plenty, but I think there have been technical improvements. Yes, and he looks so focused in this fight. He's slipping the jab very well, and then he's come back with one, two, three punch combinations. Hold ahead, hold ahead, hold ahead, let's go. Give me a clean round, give me a clean round. You can see too from McCulloch's style why he was such a terrific amateur. A little bit of concern, maybe, just growing in the Japanese corner. This is a magnificent performance from McCulloch so far. I don't know if one just slipped a little bit low there from the challenger. But he really is. He's just constant pressure. He's outworking him, isn't he, McCulloch, at the moment? Yes, and the good thing about his work is the jab. He's so effective with the jab. He's given away a little bit in reach, McCulloch, but he's, he's leaning forward, missing the... Yakashuzi's yeah, punches and come back with superb left jabs. Again, the better punch picking, the more crisp, solid punches from McCulloch in that volley. His round yet again. He's pulling away here. Any interpretation of this fight so far he must be ahead this is the seventh round Yakushiji in his fifth defense of this title he had to work for it pretty hard the last fight against the Mexican Famosito Gomez in April that went to a majority decision well Yakushiji he really got to try and do something a little bit different I think this is the the time where the corner is gonna tell him 
you've got to change plans a bit because as he's moving backwards McCulloch's pressure is constantly he just can't do anything against it so I think he's got to try and change tactics maybe try and push McCulloch back see how, how he can fight on the back foot I'll tell you what the Sunday lunchtime atmosphere here is reminiscent of that famous day at the Tokyo Dome when Buster Douglas shocked the world by beating Mike Tyson it's funny the atmosphere the Japanese tend to be very quiet watching their sport a lot of the time they just sit there quite inscrutably absorbing it all but I'm sure they're enjoying this one this is a an action-packed fight Jab has worked superbly for McCulloch, considering how outreached he is. Hey, get down, get yes, down, he's really got the down. rhythm with the jab, and so often he's doubled the jab open. That's worked well. Nagashizu, yeah, just trying to change things a little bit, trying to throw punches and then move out of the way, then throw punches, just trying to disturb the rhythm a little bit of McCulloch. They'll really be rooting for Wayne McCulloch, of course, in Northern Ireland. They've had recent heroes with Barry McGuigan and, of course, Dave Boy McCauley. This fellow looking to go into that same Hall of Fame with a victory here. Don't forget Eamon Lochran, of course. WBO welterweight champion. He must be quite happy so far. The grand old man of boxing, Eddie Futch. Yes, I'm sure he'll be doing... He'll be very happy. McCulloch doing everything right. Eddie Futch will be preparing Riddick Bowe for his big fight with Evander Holyfield on November the 4th as well. Won't be on his mind at the moment. McCulloch, oh, this is the 8th. start from Yakushiji again as he did it right at the start of the fight trying to match McCulloch's work rate and that is a near impossible task that's right Yakushiji tried to do that for the first few rounds he tried to start each round very quickly first 30 seconds but McCulloch quickly gets back on top yes if you throw 149 punches around he's gonna throw 150 he certainly is it's constant pressure This is better stuff, though, from Yakushiji at the start of the eighth. Joe Cortez, who hasn't had to do too much so far. Yakushiji then trying to just present a slightly more mobile target instead of standing right there in front of McCulloch. Might those be better tactics for him, do you think, to start moving a little bit? Maybe try to look for counters and get away again? Yes, but that, it's very difficult. That's a good thing for him to try to, to step around, use different angles, hit McCulloch you know, from right to left. But it's very difficult because McCulloch cuts the ring off so well. You see, he's, he does very little. You know, he just moves with his, his feet very slowly, cuts the ring off so well. That was a good right hand from Yakushiji and a little nod from McCulloch almost in respect of it and again the straight right through the middle caught McCulloch as he closed in there but look at the body punching now Oof. these are damaging punches from the man from Belfast This has been a better round, though, for Yakushiji. He's done more in this round than he's done for some time. Yes, he had a very good, a very good first 30-second start, Yakushiji, and he's kept 
he's kept picking away at McCulloch. McCulloch had that good little spell a few moments ago. But for the most part, Yagashuzi has just managed to keep McCulloch all ahead, all ahead, at bay with the jab. Last few seconds of this eighth round. Is Yakushiji just showing signs that he may be preparing himself for a big finish? Oh. That was his best round in a while, Yakushiji. Ichai Perfectural Gym in Nagoya and Japan. This is not a gym like the Thomas of Beckett, you'll gather. Ninth round. Now can Yakushiji keep up the better work he did in round eight. McCulloch knows that he just has to keep on going and going and going in that tank-like fashion that he's been producing so far. He can't afford to relax one bit. He's just got to rip this world championship away from this fellow here. That's right, that's the only way he's going to get it. He's just got to keep the pressure on and just go for broke. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. McCulloch knows that in this situation, so far from home, he can expect no favours from absolutely anybody at all. He's got to put this totally beyond argument. But I've certainly been very impressed with McCulloch. Certainly from when we last saw him. A great improvement, especially in defense. Yes, Eddie Futch and Fel Torrance have obviously been doing some work on that. I think they knew that there was work to do. The question with McCulloch was, might this just have been a wee bit too soon, this size of a challenge, going to Japan to fight an experienced world champion? Well, I think the answer is, They've timed it about right. Oh, good left hook, McCulloch. They've certainly got McCulloch to move his head a great deal more. Yes, he's slipping far more punches than he used to 18 months ago needed to as well oh, hold ahead. Come on, let's go. Come on. I think they're both just looking a wee bit more tired in this ninth round you'd expect that there's been a frenetic pace to it all yes and in this round the action swing one way and then the other McCulloch has a, a good combination of lands, and then Yakashuji fights back, and, and he gets it on top again. This could be a very important round in the fight. Look at the cluster of punches from McCulloch. Ah, it was a great finish to the round, and I think... I can boast about him because he's put up a, an excellent challenge so far. Three rounds to go. This is the tenth. At this point, I've got McCulloch three rounds ahead. What about you, Glenn? Seen it very similarly. And three rounds ahead right, and three to go. go. Right, so he can't go, relax. He's still got to keep the, the pressure on. Just to underline, that's the way we see it. There are two American judges and a South Korean doing their own version of things, and that's the one that counts, not the one that uh, Glenn and I are working on, unfortunately, for McCulloch. <laughs> and again, Yakashuji starts the round well. He likes to get off. He likes to get off first and usually has a good first 20 seconds to the round. Again, tremendous pressure and Yakushiji there. Just ducking. I thought for a moment maybe his knees looked as if they buckled a little. I think he's all right though, to be fair. Yes, he must be wondering what he's got to do with this man. They call him the pocket rocket McCulloch and he's just constant pressure. 
Just think what it would be like if he had a really concussive punch to go with this. That's right, wouldn't he, wouldn't he be something special? But he doesn't do badly as he is. Exciting style, McCulloch. And although since turning pro, he spent most of his time in America and married out there to Cheryl. They'll be very, very proud of the effort he's putting up here in Nagoya. And it was better from Yakushiji. He's not finished with yet. McCulloch trying to drive the fight out of this world champion. This is a big round for McCulloch so far. Because Yakushiji lands with a few good punches. We've seen him having a good little moment now, but then McCulloch comes tearing back. Every punch that Yakushiji lands is being cheered to the echo by his fans, but I think they know, even they know, that this is the stiffest test of his career now to get out of this corner. Oh, terrific stuff from McCulloch, the combination. McCulloch doing the right thing all the time. Yagashuji tries to take the fight to McCulloch, and McCulloch fires back as he knows he has to. He can't allow the, the Japanese boxer to get on top of him at all. McCulloch's round again, cleaning up some water that had spilt in Yakushiji's corner there to make sure nobody slips on it. Yakushiji, I think, needs a big finish in this fight. Desperately needs a big finish. The corner must have told him that, but McCulloch will know too, I think, that he can expect that kind of thing. Yes, McCulloch just can't relax. He must sense that he's ahead, you always do. When you're in the ring, you, you feel it if you're the stronger man, if you're getting ahead. But you just, you never know, you never know how the judges are seeing it. And he can't relax, he's just got to keep the pressure on, just keep on top of Yakushui. Come on, This is a magnificent battle, it's a credit to both boxers. You won't see very many better fights than this. Now this is better from Yakushiji. The right hand was a really good punch. McCulloch took it well. I don't think those punches from him were landed. They're just a bit wilder there with the punches, McCulloch. Most of them on the gloves. And a more tired look about that work from him. Not as precise as he'd been and clinical earlier on in the fight. Yes, just missing oh, a little bit. Look at the hang on. McCulloch, he's obviously tired. He's set a, a great pace. But Yakashui having a good round here. Showing magnificent championship qualities. The 27-year-old Japanese world champion. And he's just rocked McCulloch a little bit, I think, with the right hand there. Just stung him. Didn't have him wobbling or anything, but he certainly felt the weight of that one. And he's dangerous with that right. Oh, Yakushiji. Oh, this on. isn't over by a long chalk. This is some rally by Yakushiji. These are danger moments for McCulloch. Oh, but certainly, oh, he's come on very strong in this round, Yakushiji. You would have thought he would be desperately tired, but he's, he's given it everything in this round. That was better from McCulloch. And something very, very rare in this fight is happening in this round. Yakushiji is actually outworking McCulloch so far. There can't be many better conditioned and fitter fighters than McCulloch to keep up the pace he has with his style. But even he has just looked a little more tired in this 11th round. Yes, he's coming back stronger at the end, McCulloch, but a good round for Yakashui. Can Wayne McCulloch from Belfast make history with a famous away win here? He's put up a magnificent performance. Three minutes to go. And this 
could be some last round, I reckon. It certainly could be. I have McCulloch three rounds ahead. But uh, lots of the rounds have been very close, and you've got to wonder what the fight's in Japan. What are the judges, how are they going to see it? I have McCulloch three points clear, too. Going into this last round. But... <laughs> But is that the way the judges are scoring it? McCulloch oh, bring, bring up. Bring up, let's go. knows that he's somehow got a dredge up from the depths of his soul, even though he's tired. Three minutes of non-stop effort yet again. Yes, McCulloch just has to still keep piling the pressure on. He's got to have a, a good round here. He's got to finish big. Just a little mark under the left eye of McCulloch, there seems to be. Can't see it too clearly. Well, Eddie Futch, what is he thinking? He's seen it all before. Oh, there is damage now by the eyes of McCulloch. He's cut, and that looks more serious. The one by the right eye, it's too late to matter, I think. They're certainly not going to pull him out of a world championship fight like this, this late on. But Yakushiji's come on a bit strong very late on, but is it too late for him? Yes, it's been a good finish for Yakushiji. But McCulloch's just got to try and pile the pressure on. He's got a cut right eye. Some anxious moments very late in the fight for McCulloch. And he's very, very glad that that cut has occurred so late on. Well, this is the first time that we really saw McCulloch start to use his feet a little bit. So, obviously, he, he feels he's ahead. He just wants to keep out of the way and don't get no damage. It's obviously dangerous with the right eye. This Yakushiji is so strong. He's taken so many punches from McCulloch all night long. But even after all of that, he can still produce this kind of finish. McCulloch missing with most of those some tiredness in those arms now oh and yakushiji gets through that with better punches yes that was a strong right hand that's been the the good front punch from yakushiji mcculloch's on his bike he thinks he's he thinks he's won the fight he doesn't want no damage there goes the bell to end it they both raise their arms i think yakushiji probably won that last round as well but Despite that, I have Wayne McCulloch as a two-point winner of that fight. Now, and what a moment this might be for McCulloch. Perez has scored it for McCulloch. And the second judge, the South Korean, has given it to Yakushuji. It all depends on this last one. Tom Kazmarek, the American. Judge Kazmarek, 116-113, McCulloch! McCulloch has won the world championship on a split decision. The scorecards 116-113. 118 and 116 to him. The South Koreans scored it by one round to Yakushuji. I think they've got that right, Glenn. He's got justice. He's done it the hard way in the other fellow's backyard. And that is one of the great performances by a British boxer. Wayne McCulloch is the WBC bantamweight champion and how he deserved it. Congratulations. Thank you. It's good to be here. That was a real, real tough fight. I like him right on top. Yakushiji What's your impression of Yakushiji? Very strong puncher. Very strong puncher, yeah. Very good. Good challenge. Today you become the champion. That's it. You become the champion. Yeah, that, that's what my trainers, we work for that. That's what we came to Japan for. And we said that two days ago that we were going to take the championship belt. And that's what we did. Woo! Yeah! Wonderful scenes and uh, absolutely thrilling for McCulloch. And they even handled the interview rather well, didn't they? <laughs> what next then, Barry? Okay. 
uh, I think he, he, I'm sure he's, he's a big guy for Bantamweight. He make another couple of defenses and then jump up to Super Bantam. He's he's good enough to win the Super Bantamweight title too. You know, and for all those doubt and Thomas, and for all those guys who said uh, who said he couldn't he couldn't punch hard and couldn't uh, he was too easy to hit. Mm. You know, they've all got to eat their words now. This guy's a tremendous young fighter, and I hope he comes back and defends. If if I were his manager and I'd be having a word with Matt, then he'd come home and defend in the King's Hall in Belfast. You know. Nobody's really packed it since my days, but this guy can do it. He can jam it to the ceiling again. And I really would love to see that happen. Thanks very much to Barry McGuigan. I can see how much it means to you. Just a reminder that we are in Belfast on Saturday night for big time boxing. It's the Ulster Hall rather than the King's Hall, but Eamon Loughran will make it home territory for his defence of the WBO World Welterweight title against Lubuyo Kakaza. Join us Saturday evening Sky Sports at 9. Another big dates for your diary. A ringside special on Friday the 1st of September as Gary Jacobs gets his long-awaited opportunity to take the WBC World Welterweight title from Perno 